like a diary. Good morning, boys and girls. It is a very big day today, but before we go anywhere, let's sort this out and this out. Better. Anyway, let's go for a walk and I can let you guys know what to expect in today's video. Let's go. All right, boys and girls, welcome back to another episode of the Lot G Diary. It's the final game of the season and we're battling for the final spot in the conference tournament. So the way that the seasons work in America is you have your conference season, that is basically like a normal league season, and then you have the conference tournament. Now in our league, the teams that finish in the top eight in the normal league season go to the conference tournament. And today we're fighting for that final spot. But it's all a bit confusing because they don't do it on points, they do it on points per win. So the team that we're battling right now for eighth spot is UIS, University of Illinois Springfield, the team that we lost 1-0 to in extra time last week. So the different outcomes are, if UIS win, we have to win. If UIS draw, we have to draw or win. If UIS lose, we can do any of the three. But obviously, we're going in to try and win the game. Today, we're playing against Truman State, who are bottom of the league right now. However, they are by no means an easy team to beat. Like every team in this conference, they're strong, um, they're gritty, they're determined. It's going to be a tough game, especially with this weather. It's going to be raining later on tonight, so it's going to be a proper dogfight. The only other thing to note is that UIS play against Maryville, who are second in the league, and instead of playing at 7.30pm with us, they play at 1pm this afternoon. So we are already going to know the result of the game before we go into our game against Truman State. So I don't know whether that's a pro or a con, but we're definitely going to be watching that game later on to see what happens and to find out what we need to do tonight, apart from win, obviously. So that's pretty much the breakdown. I'm going to take you with me every step of the way, show you the match highlights. So yeah, I'm going to go back to the house, have some breakfast, and uh, I'll keep you updated. Look at them. Very nice. First little meal of the day, bowl of blueberry Cheerios. Blueberry Cheerios. With almond milk or oat milk or something some special milk that's not normal milk. Just gonna eat that, keep hydrated for a little bit, and then we're gonna have a bigger meal later on. So it's just gone about 11.15 a.m. on match day. You know what it is, people. Just been on the phone to my mate Alfie from back home, having a little catch up, you know, how it is. Uh, kind of hard when you're an international to keep in touch, but the glory of FaceTime. Anyway, stop waffling. So now we're just gonna do a little bit more editing and then once it hits about 12, half 12, we're gonna be eating our big meal for the day. I'll show you that in a bit. Obviously when it's 7.30 p.m. kickoff is a bit more of an awkward time because that's when dinner would be. So we're gonna have a big meal now and then later on at about 4.30, we'll have our pre-match meal and uh, make sure we're fueled up for the game. But after we've eaten our meal, we're gonna watch the UIS versus Maryville game that will determine what we need to do tonight. Obviously, we need to go in with the mentality that we need to win, but we will see. Steak on the go. Jesus Christ, <laughs> fucked up the camera, you can't see a thing. <laughs> Check it out. My head. Hello. <laughs> Raise it up, knock down, try single. Half time in the USI Maryville game. USI winning 2 0, puts us in a poor position. See what happens. It's 3 0 to uh, UIS. Maryville haven't done us any favours there, but we put ourselves in this position. There's still 40 minutes of the second half. It looks like it might go 4 0 now, but I I'm done with watching this. So, the situation right now is, to my knowledge, UIS have beaten Maryville. Well, I think there's still a few minutes left in the game, but they're winning 4-1 right now. So they're going to win, and they're going to go to 1.5 percentage points per game. That is what we would go to if we win tonight against Truman. But then the second thing they look at is head-to-head. -head. So UIS would go through in front of us, leaving them in 8th and us in ninth. We would miss out on the conference tournament. The other thing that has happened this week is McKendry have called in to the league and basically cancel their game because of COVID. If they had lost today's game, then both UIS and us could have passed them and they could have been knocked out and we could have both qualified. However, because they've canceled the game, they won't be affected and so they'll stay on whatever win percentage they are on right now. The conference quarter final is on Monday, so that will be less than a week after McKendry have claimed that they have COVID. Is it real? Is it not? Only the McKendry boys know. If the league lets them get away with that and lets them play on Monday, 
it's a bit suspect. If they don't, then McKendry could potentially be out of the tournament and we could slip in as well. It's all very up in the air. We don't know what's going to happen. So we've got to go with the mentality to win at all costs tonight. There's no other option and we've just got to go out there and believe that we can still get in the tournament because that's the only way we can do anything. We've got to force the hand of the league, force the hand of whatever other things and uh, put ourselves in the best position. So I know that's a lot of information. Hopefully it makes sense. Nothing really changes for us. We've got to go and win tonight either way and see what happens. We've put ourselves in this position. So now we have to do the best that we can from it. So that is the situation right now. It's about 3 p.m. Just going to do some more editing. Then I'm going to have my pre-match meal at about half four and we're heading down to the locker room about half five. So that is the schedule. I'll see you here and there. All right, so it's 5.30 now. We've just got a message saying that McKendry are getting tested for COVID tomorrow at 10.30 a.m. There's still a chance, boys. We have to win tonight. And if we win tonight and McKendry test positive for COVID, it means that we may play in the tournament. But we'll have to see. The only thing we can do right now is get out there, go get three points, get the win. Up the Panthers. Come on! Three men soccer playing their final game of the season tonight. And the Panthers on a four-game skid, so trying to end on a high note tonight against Truman State. And it doesn't take long. DU goes on the attack early. Just under two minutes in, Josh Lewis Evans launches off the cross. Ethan Pellegrin in the box, and he fires it in. The sophomore's first goal of the season. He's pumped up. Yassine Gassimi and Lewis Evans both with the assist. Panthers not done. 16th minute now. Adim Hamdaua on the corner. First attempt, no, but this time Lewis Evans on the receiving end. We zoom out. Lewis Evans zooms it in. Britain's finest. The fifth goal of the season for the senior from London, England. A laser in the box past Julian Echeverry and Drury up 2-0. Panthers leading by the same margin heading into halftime. In the second half now, and Dury strikes quickly. This time an absolutely beautiful pass by Hamda Ua, and look who it is. Lewis Evans, the header. It's pure. His second goal of the match. One more time off the free kick. The pass comes from about 15 yards out. Artistry on this kick. Picture perfect, and Lewis Evans finishes it. Dury steamrolling Truman State up 3-0. One more for good measure. We'll even show it to you in slow-mo for free. Alex Esquivel with the little sliding kick, and it always helps when the goalkeeper isn't there. Where's the keeper? Truman tacks on a couple late in garbage time, but Drury dominates from the opening kick. 4-2 to two the final. The Panthers finishing the season one spot outside of the GLVC tournament, barring a positive COVID test from within another program in the tournament, so most likely the end of the season, but the team looking forward to building on its talent heading into the fall. Yeah, listen, the talent, I, I have no doubt now the talent's there to really go and compete and push at the top um, you know, and into that at least top four of the conference, but we just got Got to be able to concentrate on the details a little bit more, especially in attacking areas. We're really good, but sometimes we're maybe a little bit off balance. So finding that balance between attack and defence is definitely going to be a major goal for us. We want to be fighting for the title, not just scraping into the conference tournament. And we'll make sure that's a lot better next year again. One of the only positives we can take, I think, is that we'll have the same squad next year and we can hopefully push on and, and improve in the things we need to. All right, boys and girls, so it is a couple of days later. Um, we've had time to sort of digest what's happened. Absolute frustration that we haven't made it into the conference tournament. I'm going to do a season recap video and chat to all of you guys about my thoughts on our season and my personal performances and stuff like that. So stay tuned for that. But yeah, in general, obviously not happy. But it's the way football goes sometimes. Like Josh said at the end of that little clip that you've seen, the only positive that we can sort of take is that we're going to have the same squad going into the next semester. So we've got a strong core and somewhere to build from. Hopefully we can do that. And uh, yeah, talking in regards to the Truman game, I actually played the whole game start to finish. Um, so that was good. We were 4-0 up until about 10 minutes left. They got a goal that was from a deflection. And then they got a goal that was given as a handball for a penalty that wasn't a handball. So two pretty dodgy goals to take away our clean sheet that's very frustrating. That is my thoughts on the game. That is my thoughts on our current position. If you have enjoyed this one, make sure to hit the like button. Make sure you subscribe if you're new. Drop a comment. Much appreciated. And remember, do it for the love of the game. I'll see you later. Peace.